Hey, yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to some more of the Ace of the Diamond Season 3, Episode 15. And word on the street is I should watch this episode and the next episode together. Now, only time will tell if I'll actually do that. <laughs> I'm only laughing at myself because I would hurt myself clearly if I don't watch these together. So, chances are I'm going to do it. Um, but I'm looking forward to this episode. Um, last episode... Uh, you know, obviously the game doesn't start between Seda and Ichidai, uh, Kosei, you know, he, it took him a while to find his rhythm, but now he done got hot and he, he punishing us. Um, Fudia, he's selling. Like, he, he, his, his pitches aren't, they have no control at all. Like, occasionally he'll, you know, make something happen. But honestly, the, the field, the fielders are carrying us right now like our defense on the field you know we we catch those pop flies in in ground balls how to reach them they 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 get it to first real quick it's like footia is literally being saved right now um and that's not good because again the problem is he's trying so hard to to achieve a level of play that he did at nationals and it's like he's getting ahead of himself like bro just throwing the ball is not enough like you need to you need to figure out what it is that you truly need to do you know and this is not the time to be trying to do it in a game like, like rule of thumb you know you practice how you play you know like if you if you try hard in practice and you still are inconsistent in practice you think you're gonna be all of a sudden consistent in a game no like do what you know in practice first and you can sprinkle in some new stuff and then you know but it's like you can't just be throwing uh pitches that aren't controlled in practice and then thinking oh well they're definitely gonna be controlled in the game no no so that's literally my my only nitpick about what's going on right now other than that you know we're, we're still up it's 2-1 um but it's not looking good because i think each of is getting that momentum now and yeah man i'm just curious to see how this is about to play out so without further ado let's just go ahead and hop on into this next episode dang whew. still no control another ball walked another pit, uh, batter this man is at the bottom of the fifth inning and this man already has over 80 plus uh pitches They still trying to talk Footy up as they should. But he Footy is just getting in his own way though. What's that? Okay, so we going straight down the middle with a fastball. Okay. He said, I don't care where it's at, just keep the ball low. Stop with them high pitches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That boy Kose said, hold on. Y'all should have just gave me a breaking ball. Uh, uh, come on, Masashi, 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 Masashi. Oh, no, he's not a good fielder yet. Oh, wow. Told you I ain't gonna make it in time. They about to get another run. Are they about to get another two? They about to get two runs? Hold on. They've taken the lead. Yeah, they got two runs. Facts, facts. <laughs> Immature. Like I said, Brother Yuki, you got some big shoes to fill. Facts. Is it fine? So, okay, you, you say that, but so can we get some control? Okay, I'm glad he's taking his responsibility serious, but what we need is not just an ace now. We need us a, a pitcher who's going to throw some consistent, controlled balls. Yep, I ain't coach. He's like, what do I need to do? Right, we only down one run. We still in we still in this game. We still in this. Okay, low pitch. Yeah, but he's looking past the present though. He's looking past the wall though. He's like ignoring the wall. Shoot. Like, I want to see Furtia continue to progress, but he's, like, he's getting ahead of himself. And honestly, he might need some coaching. Zero strikes, three balls. 
This is terrible, man. It does? Of course. I mean, yes, that's a normal thing, you know? All of that weight, all that pressure. I know. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe this ace number might be too much weight for you to bear, my boy. Like maybe you need a different number. Like I said, I want to see Fudia, you know. Oh my gosh. Oh, they just hitting everything. Footy is done. Just take him out the game. He's done. They are hitting everything. They are hitting everything. Take him out of the game. Ace or not. Like, we are literally losing this game right now. Worse than what we already were. He's crushed. They done got five runs this inning. In this one inning, they done got five runs. Yeah, man, what you said, uh, Katoka. Way back then, what you gonna do? Are you gonna sacrifice the team for Fudia? Cause right now, we they 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 bleeding, they leaking. Okay, we paying it to Aju now. Okay. Focusing on when they was watching the Ichidai game. Why is Aju thinking about this all of a sudden? Oh, he mad at Fudia. He mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's like, bro, you supposed to be the ace and you pitching like this? Ochi, they keep paying it to Ochi again. But like, what you doing? You ain't checking him out yet? Yeah, exactly, coach. Like, Ochi had to let him know. Like, uh, <laughs> what did you say to me a long time ago? Last season? You want to go sacrifice the team of Fudia? What you doing? They done got five runs this inning alone. It's time. It's time. It's time. Bring my boy in. Bring my boy in. Big 18 on the back. Salamurakum. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's like, I noticed. I've been watching the whole damn game. I like that confidence, my boy. Both? Oh, no, he's just mad. <laughs> Let's go, A. June. You know, I got, I got nothing but faith in my boy. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Of course, that's what he do, baby. <laughs> He fighting against himself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What else does the pitcher need to do? But take out the, down the batters that's in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That boy fired up. <laughs> My boy ain't looking towards the future. My boy's looking at the batter in front of him and trying to take out that batter. I saw the grip. I saw the grip. I saw the grip. Get him out of there. <laughs> Remember the name. Eiju Sawamura, baby. Look at that boy looking like a boss. That boy Eiju, man. That is my boy. <laughs> you got this. The bases is loaded. They're going to stay loaded because they ain't coming home. He did. He real good. People just keep sleeping on him. All the attention be going to footy, but people keep forgetting that Ajun is that guy. This team, wouldn't be, this team would not be where they are without Ajun. Come on, Ajun. Go ahead. Get that boy out. <laughs> ah, look at the eyes. Get him out of here. Shit. That boy came in the game and shut him down. Oh, God. And that's the OST. My boy. That's what I like to see. Thank you, Ochi High, for talking to that boy, Katoka. Because he was ready to fucking sacrifice the team for Footy's growth, man. 
bro. Y'all don't respect my boy. I'm gonna know. I don't know how many times I'm gonna keep saying this, bro. Y'all, y'all gonna stop looking down on my boy. Y'all gonna stop looking past my boy and only see Footy. Footy ain't the. He might have that one on his back, but guess what? Who's more consistent right now? That boy A June. Yes, it was difficult. But guess what? My boy A June didn't buckle under pressure. <laughs> what? Yo. <laughs> Facts. There you go, A June. That boy A June is the man. <laughs> but now he's not playing his strong suit unless he buttoned, which ain't no reason to do that. <laughs> but yes, y'all are seeing A June's greatness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he didn't. He didn't think Agent was. Mm, I ain't gonna lie. I got. I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say about that. Simply because, like, in the moment, obviously, in the moment, you know, Coach Katoka saying you saved me. You know that was a big deal, and it, the fact that it took Agent a while to to even. You know, well, the fact that he said, you know, you know, you know, the game ain't over, all that stuff. It's just like, like you apologizing because you didn't believe in me. Like that you, you pretty much saying, I, I, I stepped up into it. Oh my gosh, man. He was really like, AG was already mad. Like he was mad at how Footy was pitching because it's like, how dare you? Everyone on this team Everyone in the stands, well, at least the people like that go to say though, know that my dream is to be the ace of this team. And I pitch day in and day out. You know, I am constantly, you know, chasing that goal. And for you to have my number, for you to have that title, for you to be pitching in this game and to be pitching that way, it is pissing me off. That is literally a June right there. That is what he is saying to Fudia. And the fact that it just seemed like it was just going to keep going. Like, Coach was not going to take him out. They got five runs in that inning. And Footy was pitching terrible the whole game. Pitching terrible. The fielders were literally holding back all the runs that each, each and I was doing. And, oh my gosh, man. I, now... Like, part of me is a little worried about a June now because I don't want him to play with a chip on his shoulder. Like, because I get it, you know, he's he's upset because, like, one of his big things was, you know, he wanted the coach's approval and all of that stuff, which obviously he's gotten many times. But for, the, for, for coach to apologize to him for <laughs> stepping up and, you know, and it putting an end to that inning, like, it's just like, why did it take you so long to make this call? Like, did you truly not believe that I could do it? And again, it's not to say that Coach Couture didn't believe it, but he was just literally, they, they gave us that flashback to, I will not sacrifice the team for Furia. And that's exactly what he was doing. And I'm glad that OTI remembered that. And I'm glad that he's freaking walked up to him and be like, you know, uh, they get in a few more runs, you know, it's gonna, this game might be over for us. Like, well, why he's still in that game, you know? So, oh man, I'm, I'm ready into the next episode, man. So let's just go ahead and hop on into it. Like, he don't understand. He's like, what more do I need to prove to these people? And he didn't let him. And he didn't let him. I remember that game. This is what's pissing me off. Damn it, the episode just started. I would be frustrated too. No, he wouldn't have. That's a stupid thing, man. Like, he's like, what more do I need to do to prove to every motherfucker in this damn stadium, every motherfucker on this damn team, that I am just as good as Furia, damn it. Oh my gosh, and they make it so damn noticeable. There you go, Angel! Like, shit. There you go, Angel! Like I said, that boy full of surprises. Y'all gonna respect my boy! Oh, we going for the double! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I can't.
I'm tired of this episode already. Yo, I haven't cried this much in a minute. Uh, <laughs> yes, <yeah>, sir. <laughs> it's all in the hips. All in the <laughs> oh, crap. Oh my gosh. Him and his, his, his that, men, that inner, inner dialogue. <laughs> He's like, I just don't feel like making it easy for you, foul. Foul. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good bunt, good bunt. It's high, it's high. Oh, no, it's good. Wait, no, maybe. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> he said, go back and practice. <laughs> That's wild, eh, dude? Right, we just got to chip away at that, at that score. <laughs> so let your senpai carry okay foul 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 okay okay what the oh my oh my gosh yeah that was a wild one okay right this baseball baby oh he struck him out Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tojo. Come on. Advance our boy. A June. A June did a lot of work to get that double. He got to uh, at least get him the third. We got to advance our boy. Oh my gosh. Are you telling me this is all about to be for nothing? Let's go ahead and say it. Yeah. So my boy Adrian's effort was uh didn't pay off, but hey, he back on that mound. He back on that mound. Yeah, you jammed, baby. Yeah, yeah, get him out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that boy Hadawichi been playing a heck of a game this game. Oh, well, that's a fastball. Wait, that was a two seamer, right? Wait, that was a wait. What was it? That was his cutter. Improved. <laughs> that was his cutter. I thought I saw two. Or is that two five? So is oh, so is that so he is throwing a seven? Ugh. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Get him on out of here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's how it should be, Kawakami. Something Footy needs to hear, bro. Bro, we still gotta <laughs> we still gotta get like three runs, man. Four runs. Oh, three balls, two strikes. Good eyes, Kanamaru. Oh, that's walk him. Wait. Wait, what? Wow, I thought that was a ball. Okay. Wow, dang, it's two outs. Let's hear Mochi. Great. Hold on, I heard freaking Josuke in that one. <laughs> He's just a wild boy. <laughs> yes, cultivating greatness. Yeah. Genius and lucky boy. Oh, come on, Mo. Are you serious? Kose! Chill out! Game, Game's not over, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What inning is it? What inning is it? That was the ninth inning. We lost. We managed, we managed to get one more run. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Kose did his thing. Oh, man. Our words gonna be said, or are we just gonna stare down? Oh, it's a pop fly. They gonna catch it. It was a good hit, but yeah, that's crazy. Low key, I was not expecting us to lose this game. Yeah, those five runs he gave up in that inning was insane. But, hey, Kose, he did his thing in this game. I can't be mad at it. Like, he shut us down.
Anything gonna be said? Wow, no words. The look, the look said it all. The look said it all. Mm. Oh wow, fitting. Fitting. They were all, they all got their little feelings hurt. Like, okay, okay, I see how this played out a little bit. Okay. Nah. Again, I know Maiden leveled up, so I'm a little worried about that. Mm. Ajun's upset still. Yep, different energy, right? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Close about to give him his props. That's what's up. I like this. <laughs> but yeah, that's true. The fle the the wound is still fresh. Respect. <laughs> He's like, I just want to know. <laughs> of course, you get why he was interested in it. Yeah, of course, you witnessed greatness. Mmm, Koshu felt. Uh, hold on, Koshu! <laughs> he felt that disrespect too. He's like, bitch, you just beat us. Why are you pressing us right now? Uh, hold on. I love it. Yep. Exactly. That I'm tired of that way of thinking. Like him and this whole thought of pitching the like he did in the nationals is so annoying. Mm, I mean he's taking accountability. I I mean I can't be mad at that. You know, again, everybody got to learn from the loss, coach included. I don't see Inshira losing this game. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Y'all ain't getting this dub, you feel me? I'm just calling it right now. You better keep your tongue in your mouth. Look at that boy, May. Wait, is H.M. sitting by himself? You know what? I ain't even mad at that. He don't want no distractions. He just wants to focus on the game and see what he, where he, where he should have been. You know, he want to see some achievements. He want to see some growth. This, this was a fire episode. Like this, what is this? They done switched up the ending on me again. You know, I ain't watching it though. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yo, this, this was, this was a fire episode. You know, at the end of the day, my boy A June did what he had to do. He came into the game. He shut down the batters. You feel me? <laughs> like, Coach O.T. Uh, <laughs> I was about to combine their names. Coach Katoka, he took accountability. Like, he admitted that he waited too long to switch out the pitchers. It is like, okay, what? When did Footy uh, Aju came in, come in? The bottom of the fifth? Footy was not pitching great at all. He was literally just walking batter after batter after batter after batter. And I'm and again, if the fielders weren't like literally doing a, an excellent job of, you know, <laughs> stopping all the runs, catching all the, the pop flies, the in-ground uh balls and all of that stuff, the, the score probably would have looked a whole lot worse early on. But then it just that fifth inning, bro, they just kind of got it just got crazy. Like the, the fact that, like, like I said, they racked up five runs and he was not going to take him out. That's the crazy thing about it. That's that is what's like I said, I'm trying to understand. And again, I feel for my boy Ajun because he's so frustrated. He is so frustrated at the fact that he's like, he broke it down. He's like, pretty much coach apologized to me. And he didn't want that. He's like, if 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 I was pitching how Footy was pitching early on, would I have stayed in as long as Footy did? And the answer would have been no. He would have got pulled out. And he's like, that's the difference between that the number, that number one and that 18 on, that, on his back. That is the difference. Like, Ajun has proved himself time and time again. But it's just, it don't mean nothing because he's not the ace because he don't got that one on his back. It don't mean nothing. Everyone, and it, it hurts me to even say this, the fact that Coach Katoka is one of those people who are still 
not respecting Ajun in that sense. Like, y'all know I love my coach. But the fact that he has literally seen how Ajun has improved over his time here at Sado, and he still didn't believe that Ajun could have came in earlier and, you know, <laughs> bro, I just, I don't know, man. It, it, it's like I said, it's not even just about the fact that they got the five runs. It's it's about the fact that Kotoka was not going to take Footy out even after getting them. They got five runs in that inning. The bases were loaded, and he was still thinking about keeping Footy in. Like, shout out to Ochi for step standing up and be like, "Yo, how long you gonna keep him in? Like, game looking bad, you know? Like, it's just." Like, oh, like I said, I understand Adrian's frustration. I do. Heck, I even understand uh, May's frustration with Miyuki. Like, that should have been a game we should have won and we lost, you know? And it's just, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a lot, man. Like, I, 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 I still, I do, like I said, I do like the interaction that Kosei and Ajun had, even though Ajun didn't want nothing to do with him. <laughs> but at least Kosei, you know, was interested in his pitch and everything like that. But also, Koshu, he was feeling some type of way about that interaction as well. Because Ajun was like, bro, y'all just beat us. Like, why do I want to talk to you about baseball or anything, about pitching or nothing? I don't want to talk to you. But Koshu was also like, yeah, I'm also interested in that pitch, but uh, I'm on the same team as Ajun, so I can be interested in it. Bro, you just beat us. I know I won on the field, but you just beat us. And you got the nerve to try to come come and ask me about my pitching? Like, get out of here. Like, Koshu, I like that energy. Hold on. He was ready to, you know, he's, he's one of those. He ain't going to really show it like that. But he was ready. He was ready. To, he had my boy Adrian back a little bit. You know, feel me? That Sado pride. Uh. <laughs> but, yeah, this, this was a fire episode, man. I, I, I loved it. I'm looking forward to seeing how, like, this game plays out between Inishiro and Taito. I'm looking forward to seeing like what Ajun learns from this. I just I want to I want to know more about how Ajun's feeling, like more of what's going on in his head because there's a lot. Like Fudia, he need to figure himself out. Like uh, you know, I ain't really got nothing to say about Fudia in, in this moment. Uh, but Ajun, I I I want to know more of what's going on in his head. I want him to I want him to. I hope I need him to get rid of that frustration because at this point, it just seemed like it's going to keep happening because like I said, what more does he have to do? Like, what more does he have to do to get people to respect him? Like, obviously, his teammates know what he's capable of, but it's like, again, I keep going to it. And it, again, it keeps hurt. It hurts me to keep saying this, but the fact that Katoka was not going to switch out Fudia, like, bro, that just... Ah, man. Ah, man. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just going to keep dwelling on it. I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed both of these episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.